What's going on everybody and today I have something different for you prepared and this time I want to talk about the MacBook and more specifically tips for new Mac users and perhaps I will also make a series about this maybe I will continue with other tips for Mac users so let me know what you think about this video down below in the comments so let's begin with this video right now So the very first step that I would like to talk about has to do something with the gestures and I would say get used to the gestures because they will save you so much time and effort and it's really beneficial to use them in everyday life. And it is honestly a lot better than using the long methods in order to activate some actions and stuff so I think that you should definitely get to know all of the gestures that can be performed on the MacBook. These gestures are actually very easy to learn and also save you a lot of time so it really makes sense to use them. It's not really connected to the table computers like the Mac Mini or Mac Pro or whatever else you are using like the iMac I mean but most of these gestures are only present on the touchpad or trackpad of the MacBook. The very first gesture that I would like to talk about is the three finger swipe up and it's very easy and all it does is just it reveals all of the things that are open on the desktop. So in case you have too many windows open on the home screen you can simply just swipe up using three fingers and now you can see that you can click on whatever icon or whatever window you have open in the background. This is also really useful because you have the option to switch in between the desktops so in case your one desktop gets full and you simply don't want to close all of the windows or you don't want to minimize them you can just click on this plus icon and create a new desktop and here you have everything new and you can create and open up new icons and new apps just like on a brand new or open up Mac. The next gesture that I find really useful is the two finger swipe to the left and what it does it basically opens up this sidebar or whatever you want to call it it's the notification or control center it's very different naming for this but anyways all it does you just get to this page and you have some sort of options and notifications you have some todays you have some widgets that you can of course customize and i think this is pretty useful especially this calculate because you don't even have to open up the app you can just swipe like this and start counting counting the numbers and anything you want so i think that it is very useful and you have just this quick access to whatever widget you choose another gesture is the pinch gesture which basically opens up the finder it's pretty hard to do to be honest i mean it only it, it doesn't always work and it's pretty it's pretty you know as you can see it's not that easy to actually get it to work so you can see that this time i managed to do it but it opens up the finder so pinching on the trackpad slash touchpad opens up all of the apps. As you could also notice, three fingers swipe to the side, it actually switches between the desktops that I already talked about before. There are also some known gestures that maybe you are not familiar at all. If you have been using only the table computers, you're not familiar with that. If you just want to uh, scroll down, you don't have to search for the scroll bar at the side, just like you were used to maybe from the windows, but you can go like this and using two fingers, you can swipe on the trackpad and go down or up, whatever you want to do. By the way, this gesture has also been part of the Windows computers and new Windows laptops, just like the three finger swipe up, but on the Windows, I don't really think that it works that well. I mean, the three finger swipe up doesn't really work that well on Windows computers. There is also this gesture where you use also your two fingers and you just tap the trackpad in order to click or get the right mouse actions. It's pretty obvious and it's pretty normal thing, but I decided that I just want to mention it here as well. Another tip that I have for you guys and for those of you that decided to use Mac or to start using Mac computers is an option which is called minimize to the icon and I know that it doesn't sound that you know it doesn't sound that good it doesn't sound like a tip or like a good tip but it really works and it's really great because many people are not familiar with this and that's why I decided that I want to mention it in this video so you need to head over to the settings and click on the dock section and make sure you have checked minimize windows into application icon let me show you what happens if I uncheck it so right now as you can see this is a dock that I have right now so right now if I minimize for example the desktop in the finder or I minimize anything else as you can see it comes back to this as you can see it's a desktop and if I keep minimizing another icons you can see that we have another one right there which doesn't really make a lot of sense because you know if I download or if I minimize the calendar you know as you can see the dog has got even bigger so it doesn't really make sense and that's why it's a lot better when you just click on the calendar and it opens up from right there it, it could open up from the icon and this is the point of this feature and that's why I think that you should start using this 
especially if you are new to the max. By the way, if you are new here and this is your first time on this channel, then think about subscribing because I try to post similar content like this, I try to upload videos that are similar to this one, and also where I talk about iPhones, iPads, and Apple Watches. So if you are interested in this, just hit that subscribe button and we will see each other in the next video as well. Another and the last tip that I have for you guys is to keep your Mac up to date. And I know this isn't really a tip or this isn't really something that you can go ahead and do right now, but it is something that you have to do over time. Because if you are used to from the Windows computers, if you click on the shutdown button, you're gonna encounter that you have about 100 updates that are waiting to be installed and it doesn't really make sense. You have no idea what has been changed. You have no idea what actually has been improved after the update has been installed. So you have no idea about this. And this is not how Apple, Apple ecosystem and Apple devices actually work. If you go to this about this Mac, you can see that my Mac is running on Mac OS Mojave. And you can also notice that my version is 10.14 and the versions are constantly getting updated. You can see online what exactly has been changed. You can see what new features have been added, what are the security issues that have been resolved with this, and there are plenty of options how you can use the updates that are really consistent and really make sense on Apple devices. And that's why I really like Apple ecosystem and the devices from Apple. This will be everything what I wanted to say in this video. Let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments. If you enjoyed it, just hit the thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss future content about MacBooks, iPads, Apple Watches, and of course iPhones, smash the subscribe button as well. By the way, if you also know some other gestures on the trackpad of the MacBook, please let me know down below in the comments as well. And perhaps let me know something that I didn't know about. So yeah, have a nice day and see you in the next video.